grade, seventh grade, lesson 55. This is average part two. Now, let's review average just really quick, okay? Um, let's say Eli, Isaac, and Ben. Just three people. We're going to eat... Twelve pancakes, okay? And when you're trying to find the average, basically what you're trying to do is what is the even amount for each, okay? So, how many pancakes do I have? Twelve. Twelve. That is the sum total, okay? So just so you know that, that's the total. Okay, <coughs> how many people were involved? Three. Three. Okay, so we have twelve pancakes and divided by three people, what am I going to get? I'm going to get four. So Eli would get four pancakes, Isaac would get four pancakes, and Ben would get four pancakes, right? Okay, now, just knowing that is going to help you, okay? So now stay with me and listen to this story. They tell me that the average of three numbers is 17, okay? The average of three numbers is 17. What is their sum? Well, the average is 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be like four, four, and four, um, Eli, Isaac, and Ben. Okay, and the average is 17, 17, 17. So, how many total pancakes do we have? Would you add up all the same hands or all four? Well, where those fours was the last problem. I was just oh. showing you that the average is 17. Oh, okay. The average on the last one was four. Okay, okay so help, well, I'm just trying so to teach you something. 17 times three. 17 times three. So let's do that. 51. So there's like, consider this, there's like 51 pancakes basically. Okay? So finding out the total amount of pancakes, that is the sum which is what we did. That's very important for you to know, okay? Now, let me show you something. All right, ready? Listen to this one. This is a new problem. The average of four numbers is 25. The average of four numbers is 25. If three numbers are 16, 26, and 30, then what is the fourth number? How in the world are we going to figure this out? Uh, you're going to have to find the pattern between each number. Well, <clears throat> kind of. This is almost like grades. You made a 16, a 26, a 30. What is the last score you made? Okay? Well, we know that the average score was 25. And that there are four numbers. So think about pancakes. The average pancakes was 25. The average score was 25. And you have four numbers or four people. Did you divide? Stay with me. The average number of pancakes was four, and there were three people. So what did we do with that? So the average of three is 25, or the average of four is 25? There's four numbers. One, two, three, and four. The average is 25. So would it be fair for me to go, if there are four people, to go 25, 25, 25, 25, since that's the average? Yeah. So each person got 25 as the average, because there's four numbers. Yeah. So you just... Um, What's the total number of pancakes or scores? You just add all those three up, right? All these four up. Yeah. And get 100. Yeah, because if I take 100, my total, and divide by 4, then I'm going to get the average is 25. Yeah. So it's very important I learn how to figure out the sum. And all I do to figure out the sum is take my average and multiply it by however many numbers there are or how many people there are. You understand? Okay, so how do I figure out this fourth number then? Well, you add those three up uh -huh. and then whatever's left. Whatever it equals yes. 100. So we want it to equal 100 because it has to equal 100 to get a 25 as your answer. Yeah. Right. Good.
So we're going to add up 16 plus 26 plus 30. So let's do that. 72. So then you do... Um... So I subtract 72 from 100, right? Yeah. Okay. And then so I end up getting 28. Yep. 28. So, see how we did that? Mm -hmm. So what was the fourth score? You would have said 28. So it's important that you learn how to take your average and figure out your sum, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try another one. Listen to this one. This is going to kind of be, make more sense because it actually is like test scores. After four tests, Annette's average score was 89. That was after four tests. She had an 89. Um... What score does she need on her fifth test to bring her average up to 90? Okay, so on, after her fifth test, she wants her score to be a 90. So stay with me. After four tests, what's her total sum so far? Let's figure so, it out. Yeah, you just, well, wouldn't you divide it by four? No, no, not yet. Not yet. This is like... Uh, um, four tests is like three people. Oh, I, 89 pancakes yeah. is like four pancakes. So it's like already divided. So we're trying to multiply to see what the sum was before we got the average, before we divided. So basically we're saying, what is this? Yeah. For, in order for us to get an 89 average, what did four go into... Yeah. To get that. Okay, so you're basically taking 89 times 4 to get this. So 89 times 4 is 36. 8 times 4 is 32. 3 to 4 is 5. 356. So, after four tests, in order to get an 89, you have to get a total of 356 after you add four tests up. Okay? Yeah. Now, let's talk about this one. In order to get a 90 after five tests, so I'm going to take 90 times 5 to figure out the total score for it. So, 9 times 5 is 450. So if she okay. wants to make a 90, yeah, sure. after 5 tests, she has to get a total of 450 points on all 5 tests you combined. Uh, 356 from Very good. So that's what we're going to do. 4, oh, that's actually 4 times 9. Okay, she needs to make a 94 on her fifth test to make it, to bring it up to a 90. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just bring it up one point as your final score. She must have made some pretty bad scores. Not bad, but like 75 on one of them. To then need a 94, something way bigger to bring it up to that. Okay? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of hard, but do you feel like you're able to understand it and grasp it? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's lesson 55.